Oh snap! What's going on there, YouTube? Hi everyone. This is SEL zero three two zero. Joe Johnson zero three zero coming at you one more time. Your boy Earl and Joe. Yeah, man. The <laughs> nah, uh, yeah, hats don't work for me too well. Actually, they do. I just don't wear them enough. Um, we're back for a brand new spoiler filled review of the show Arrow. So the name of this episode is The Fall. All in. Um, this episode was phenomenal. No ties to destiny. Um, there's a lot that happens in this episode, but how it starts, and I don't know if you were at the very beginning. Nah, I missed it. But the man. very beginning of the episode, it literally starts back off from how it ended with Thea. She had just been like basically um, uh, impaled. impaled through the body. By Raz are going just left there bleeding to death. She wakes up, right? And uh, she's coughing up blood. She's trying to scramble for the phone. And Oliver finds his sister there bleeding to death. So Oliver actually found her there. He found wow. her there. And she was wow. bleeding to death. And he was trying to keep her alive by keeping the wound closed off. And he picked her up. And it was just such a dramatic scene because it was this level of hopelessness that was on him. Because I think everything had kind of went full circle. Like he had, he had lost Sarah in the beginning of this season. Now Roy is gone as a casualty of what happened. He's been outed as the Arrow. He can't be the Arrow anymore. Uh, he's lost the girl that he loves, which is Felicity, in the beginning of the season. And um, it's just all hit at this point that now he's being forced to become this thing that he doesn't want to become by his sister's hands dying, basically. And so they take her to the hospital. And um, she literally dies on the operating table. And um, like Malcolm and him, they, they see her in the hospital, they let her know, they let Oliver and Malcolm know, like, look, she doesn't have much longer. She's gonna die. This is, she's terminal, essentially. And uh, they just break down crying, man. And it's such a deep scene because the scene right after that, how it progressed is like, they were like, Oliver, what can we do? What is it? And it's like, there's no options with this. Like, we have to take her back. And what I thought was so crazy is that they literally show you what goes down with the, the Lazarus pit. I thought that when Oliver got skewered that he was going to have to go through the, the Lazarus pit. You know what I'm saying? But when Thea goes through the Lazarus pit, finally when it actually happens, bruh, I was like, yo, she's possessed. Yo, that's some scary joint. That joint scared the mess out of me. And how she jumped up and hit Oliver with two legs. And just kind of just prone there, I was like, yeah, this, this is going to be a crazy episode. And it really was. There's so much stuff that happened. Um, what, I guess what were some of the things that kind of hit you with this episode, Joe? Um, <clears throat> yeah, Thea, she came out of that water. I said this before. She came out of that water like something out of a Japanese horror film. <laughs> like, I was like, whoa. Um, but yeah, um, that part. What? Part stuck out to me, um, kind of progressing in the story a little bit. Um, so they're actually at you know the fortress of the League of Assassins, and um, um, there, there there's Oliver, and then um, there is um, what's her name? Felicity. Felicity. I don't know how I forgot her name. There's Oliver, mm -hmm. Felicity, mm -hmm. and then Diggle. Um, you know, and they're and, and they're all you know talking about like you know like what's gonna take place, like what's actually happening, the current situation at hand, the status quo, mm -hmm. if you will, and you know, and 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 Oliver's like, well, this is no other options. This is the way we're gonna save Thea. And mm -hmm. at this point, Thea's actually up and about, and she's actually like she's still confused, um, but she's actually. Um, conscious she's actually alive so and Oliver's like yeah this is I'm saving her at this moment and then um, Felicity's like what you're crazy this is wrong and she just storms out and this oh, one was got me bro that was she nice. storms out and then into the like main area where um Razor Gul is actually standing um she's like I won't let you do this like I will start a war before I let you um, take Oliver under your wing or whatever. And Vaja Ghoul, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, I'm thinking, okay, she's, she about to she's just about to, either she's about to get slapped across the face, across the room, 
or kill one or two. Nah, this is what Roz, Roz does, bro. Like, real smooth, real subtly. He's like, yeah, okay. And he tells her this story. Mm. He's like, mm -hmm. he's like, I've been in love once. He's like, I didn't have the luxury. A man came to me, like, I've been in love, had two kids. And it was like, a man came to me mm -hmm. and offered me, like, pretty much the offer. It was like, he either had to um, say for, he had to leave his, his family without, without saying, saying but goodbye. Or he could watch his family suffer and die and be tortured to death. Get dismembered. Harsh pull from him. He said that was, was his options. And he took the option of, you know, just leaving abruptly. And, um... <laughs> And he was like, life isn't always fair, yeah, pretty much. That's what he said. And he just, with that, with that whole story, he just broke Felicity. Like, he just literally mind defeated her. Like, <laughs> he was assassin in her mind. And just like, shank, 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 all your thoughts and your uh, convictions. Like, all of them, he just dismantled her. And mm -hmm. I was like, he just, he just mentally disarmed her, bro. Mm -hmm. And I was like, this dude is a bad man, man. Like... I was like, at that moment, I like, cause I know physically, the dude he handles down his business. Anybody. Yeah. But mentally though, this dude is just. But I mean, every, him on, even on a mental level, like no one can even stand with this cat. But everything that he said was true. He was like, I, I saw a bit of his soul in what he said to her because he was like, um, you need to tell your goodbyes to Oliver. But he didn't just stop there. He was like, you need to express to him your heart and every part of it needs to be dissected so he can be able to have what I never had the opportunity of having to say that one last goodbye or even that expression of remembrance of it and I was like what <laughs> it, it threw me bro but then these jokers <laughs> they're knocking boots <laughs> better luck for words <laughs> okay, Ah! Roz at Goose house! <laughs> no, that's <laughs> Oliver's house. Well, he's been, nah. That's his <laughs> house. I mean, if she even had one of them, uh, them robes. They don't, they don't want her robe. Exactly. So, I'm saying, drinking his wine. They I mean, that's Oliver's house. Anyway, these ninjas shacked up. But it was like, <laughs> they paced. <laughs> they, <laughs> this was kind of an uncut scene. <laughs> Cause they went raw. Like I mean, I was literally, I was like, man, this is a little bit too much for basic cable. Um, but I guess how they started it off, and like him, like basically feeling this feeling of self defeat, and her finally coming up to him, like, look, I love you. Like I know whatever we've gone through is whatever, but like I, you are the person I love. And it was so funny. I was thinking he's gonna come back with this like deep kind of comment or whatever. This ninja pulls her head to him, and they just go to town. I was like, man, there ain't no dialogue. I don't know if I like that or not. Um, because right after that, she <laughs> she gives this joker a drink. And uh, I was like, what's going on? She roofing him. And her crazy self is trying to get him out. I was like, they ain't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know that Malcolm can defend himself pretty well. Felicity can't. But she did a decent job. Diggle did a decent job. Thank God that Oliver woke up midway and spared them. He was like, look, I am the heir to the demon. I am this, that, and the other. And he's like, y'all better stay now. And I thought that it was so crazy because when they finally did land with Thea's body, um, and he was walking, these dudes are just kneeling. There's a whole army. And they're just kneeling like in sequence. And uh, I was like, that's the power that he's about to have. Um, my theory, I told Joe, I was like, this is going to get changed from League of Assassins to League of Shadows because if he is going to be the pioneer of this, then he's going to make the choice of not having these people utilized by fear or by killing everybody. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But either way, it was so much to kind of happen. Um, because one of the big things that I wanted to say before I get off of this is the fact that... <clears throat> When Oliver gets everything said and done and everybody leaves and he says goodbye and he tells Diggle, he was like, look, bruh, like, you are the best man I've ever known. Like, I love you. You're my brother. Uh, and then he kind of says goodbye to Felicity. He's like, look, I'm not saying goodbye to you. Um, that left a little bit of hope for me, for them, relationally. 
But even before that, like, Felicity basically buried herself as far as the relationship with Ray because she acknowledged, like, Ray was like, look, <laughs> you love him. Like, you don't love me. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, this is the reality. And she's like, I'm sorry, you're the last person I want. I was like, look, man, go on, take my jet and get out of here, basically. Um, but when he gets, like, he, like, Riles was basically like, look, this is what you need to do, and I need to get you set up and primed for this. Because I was thinking that his boy was going to get killed. The guy that he'd been helping with the flashbacks. And the flashbacks were pretty awesome. Like, they did some pretty awesome action sequences in the flashbacks. Um, but I was just sure because the, his friend, uh, Maceo, had helped him out get out. And uh, he had killed two of the fellow assassins. And uh, kind of Raz kept him there for a second. I thought he was about to kill him. He's like, no, nah, I need you to help train Oliver. <clears throat> but Oliver is getting something branded into his back. And I looked at it. I was like, since this show has been on, there has been a symbol of an arrow that started off with this. And he basically said, this is who you are essentially um he was like there is no more oliver queen there is only i think al shair um but the arrow is what resides in the epicenter of it and uh they have the symbol of the arrow the, the symbol of the whole entire series is being branded into his back the semblance of that is awesome because oliver before basically got killed he got scared through the chest he got killed right but he made it out. Now, he is left without any option of coming back because basically his soul and who he is is being ripped away. For him to come out of that, then that is gonna make more significance of the name Arrow. And that's where I think they're gonna execute the Green Arrow, which is, which is so cool, I'm geeking out, sorry. Um, but this was a great episode. Uh, anything else you could touch on with this episode? <laughs> you know, I kind of wish they kind of did the romance between. You no, know, by I mean romance, I don't mean like the actual physical part. I mean like, like the whole uh, dialogue or interaction between Felicity and Oliver longer. Because I mean, they've been you know at a distance for a while. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I they have and they haven't because you can I... read behind the lines. It's evident that Oliver loves her. It's been evident for a long time. He sacrificed being Arab because of her. But, mm -hmm. but you can tell mm -hmm. whenever they interact that there is this friction that's always right. there. It's just an unspoken kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I see... I, I would have liked the same thing, but it would have all ended in the same result. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 yeah, but I'm saying like, I think they could have played on it. I agree. I agree. You know what I'm saying? That would have been nice. It was like an explosion of passion. JK. Especially because the next episode, Oliver basically is gone. Like, there's no resemblance of Oliver Queen anymore. Um, and basically, he's being sent back to take out Raz's daughter. And basically, anybody that gets in his way. Yep. And so, so, that's it. It's going down. We're done. It's going down. I, I don't. I don't know what's gonna go down. But um, yeah, I give this episode a ten out of ten. It was exciting. It was scary. It was. It was really heartfelt. Like it had everything that this show embodies to me. Um, it was one of the best ones they've done. Uh, what about you, as far as the review? Uh, I give it a nine. Solid nine. That works. So, hopefully, y'all liked our spoiler review for Arrow: The Fallen. And uh, please leave your comments in the section below. Um, and definitely leave a like if you like this. And uh, thanks for everybody for subscribing. We just hit 1,500 subscribers. Woo! So thanks all of y'all. That's really awesome. Nah, no, I'm just playing. Um, but definitely we look for us to have more views coming. We're going to try to do a small uh, non-spoiler review real quick. And uh, we're out for the night, everybody. SCL0320 signing out. Check me out, y'all. Nice.